What's going on guys? Welcome back to Uber Adventures. I'm John and today we are taking a look at the Sport Trek 343 BBH Touring Edition. Now this one is really awesome. It's really big and it's great for a large family. Plus you have an amazing outdoor grill. But before we jump in, I want to thank everybody that subscribed to me, trying to help support, giving me great comments, great ideas. I appreciate it a ton. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. Uh, well, Subscribe if you enjoy this video, hit the like button, all that good stuff, but let's jump in. All right, we're starting in the very front. It is a full solid cap, easier to maintain, which is always a huge plus. And you've got this super structurally sound front end. You have a front window, blue LEDs. I hope you can see in the camera, Sport Trek touring logo, Venture logo coming down from there. You have your hookup for your battery. You have two large propane. I'm guessing those are 30 pounds a piece, so you probably have 60 pounds on here of propane. You have a full electric tongue jack, good for 3,500 pounds. It goes up, it goes down, and it lights up, which is very bright, actually. It's middle of the day, and it's still very, very bright. Your ball is gonna be 2 5 sixteenths uh, inch ball coming around. You have a very narrow but very tall pass-through storage lit up as well. You have little tool racks. This one needs to be put up there, so. Full electric stabilizers in both front and rear. I don't know why these aren't down, but they don't take that long to go down. Frameless windows pretty much all the way around except for on the doors. You have a long, very nicely covering the front doors or side do the doors and it's LED lit. As you can see, it's all white LEDs. You have a step above by more ride. And then on both doors, one thing that I really like besides it also having windows on both doors which not all rvs do that i think they should but you have the screen defenders on both doors which is a huge plus we have a few specs right here so this is a 34 living space but it's 37 foot 8 inches uh, from tongue to bumper i guess and then you have a hitch weight of 1240 pounds and an unloaded vehicle weight of 9100 pounds so this should be fairly easy to be pulled by any of your current model uh, three quarter tons and half tons, no issue at all there. You have Asdell on board. So the Asdell is a piece that removes wood out of the, the walls and it doesn't get affected by things like water. It's all non-organic, so it's really good to have because it doesn't cause any type of delamination or anything like that, which is a huge plus forced heat in enclosed underbelly weather shield so it's good for year-round usage and then of course you have the venture logo right here which is your bottle opener and i would venture to believe that you could hook up a, a leash there as well pun intended you have a suburban furnace all led lights around with your plug-in right there now if you don't like these steps if you're going to actually use these a lot you can always replace them with steps like that. Again, on this door, you also have the screen defender. You have a huge outdoor kitchen. You have your, we'll start from the bottom, work our way up. You have a sink, you have a griddle, you have an outdoor fridge, great for beer or kids drinks or anything in between. You have your outdoor speakers with a Furion uh, stereo, Bluetooth and everything. It is lit over here, so you have your on switch and it's gonna give you a little tiny blue light. Let's see if I can get a better angle. Yeah, a little tiny blue light, just to kind of add a little bit of ambiance, especially when it's dark outside. You have storage on both sides of the TV. And I believe this is about a 40 inch TV. And then of course you have your back stabilizers again you have your bumper with the stink hose hookup 
you have a tank flush here and you'll have another tank flush on the other side. So that kind of leads me to believe that there might be two black tanks. I'm not sure, don't hold me to it. A 250 pound uh, hookup right here, uh, hook up things like your, I don't know, anything, bicycles or canoes or whatever you might need. You have a six gallon hot water heater here. Sorry, I've got an 18 wheeler making a ton of noise right behind me. Hopefully you don't hear it. And of course you are pre-wired for your backup camera. And then of course you have a ladder going all the way down, mostly all the way down. This is gonna be a slide for your bunkhouse. This is gonna be the main slide for the living and the kitchen room. The kitchen room, the kitchen and the living room. It's a 50 amp hookup. Again, another tank flush here. Your docking station is going to be right there. And then right here, you do have a little bit of storage. This is where they have the cable for you. It is all boxed out, so you're not going to see any wiring, which is a huge plus. Of course, all slam latches, magnet holding up your doors. Again, your other pass-through side. And that pretty much covers everything on the outside. All right, so I know you like the outside, everybody does. Let's take a look on the inside. All right, so we have three steps, fourth one to go in. But before we go all the way in, right here, you have a little bit of storage right here and you can only get through it from back here. So I would assume it's meant to put things that you can just grab on the way out. On the other side, you have your fuse block and you have a place to hang your jackets as you do. I'm going to close this door. Help with the sound. And then up here you have your controls. So you have all the lighting right here in the very top. Main light, porch light, awning light, awning light two, which this doesn't have a second awning. And then cap light. You have your water pump, electric and propane heaters, and then this will let you go through all your slides and your awnings and everything right here. And then you open and close it, which is really cool. And then you can check all your tanks with one simple push, which is also really cool. Right next to that, you have your Bluetooth enabled uh, solar controller. So it basically just tells you what the solar panels are doing and what your battery is doing. Right now there's no battery, so it's showing like there's nothing being charged, so go figure. On the opposite side of that, you have a place that I would always just use it for keys. I just put the little key hooks in here and you do have a plug and a USB plug right there as well. Of course you have your entertainment center right here. You have your TV coming down. You do have your indoor stereo right here. It's the exact same one as the one outside. And then you have a little more storage right here. I'm thinking video game console, maybe DVDs. This would definitely work for DVDs right here. And then of course, you know, those green rock fireplaces with red and yellow flames. Those are common. Right now I'm running it to heat up this room because it's fairly chilly outside. It's very windy. Coming around, you have Thomas Paine Collection uh, couch slash uh, theater seating. Because in the very center, this falls down. And you have two cup holders along with two USB A's and a 110 plug, style plug. Close that. Heat massaging on both sides as well as a USB A plug. Above that, you have storage that goes all the way across and you got tinted window on it. So it's not going to be very easy to see through. It's actually really hot in here. Those things do wonders. You have your booth style seating, I guess, for your table and chairs. Um, so this is the price. I've already listed it in the beginning of the video. MSRP is actually 83 grand and we're selling it for 63. So that's a huge discount. You have storage underneath 
and you can also lift up the cushion and there's access to the storage from the top as well. You have a cool little light. We just need to unwrap this part. It reminds me of a grandma's house where they still keep all the wrapping on it and everything. So we just have to take that off. Coming to this side, you do have your kitchen. It is a Furion uh, refrigerator. And it is cold. Holy cow, that kind of hit me hard. Uh, it is a 12 volt fridge. So you're not going to have uh, any issues with it staying cold. It's cool. It's got little tiny labels. You have like a little, I don't know if you can, there you go. You can probably see it better like that. You have eggs, cheese, and I guess soda or Coke on all of them, except for down here. You have Tabasco and ketchup. That's cool. It sits up really high. Like this is, I got the camera actually above my head. So, because on the very bottom you do have storage for large pots and pans, which is always nice. And you have storage right under your farmhouse sink, along with the black, matte black uh, faucet, which you're gonna see that trends all the way around, as well as the metal sinks. And then you have a place to put your sponges and just a bunch of place drawers to put whatever you need coming over here you have your oven and stove all fury on it's also lit and it will tell you if you bump it on or not three burner on the very top with the fury on logos in the middle of the burners you have your venture rv cutting board that comes with all of these uh i think all the venture rvs maybe not but and of course it fits perfectly right here. So you can be cutting, moving things over that are already cut like the trimmings or even if you wanna put the meat or whatever you're doing, it gives you options and then you can have this cleaning whatever you're cleaning. So I like it. I like the idea, but be forewarned, it's actually really bad for your knives to use bamboo cutting boards. It's very, very hard wood. Coming above this, I could not find a brand on the vent hood, but it lights up very well and it's not overly loud for a vent hood. The one in my house is outrageously loud. Furion microwave with a turntable. And then to the left of that, you do have more storage. It's actually quite deep. And then the, this is a solid surface, so it's really nice and soft, like uh, smooth. Some of those uh, non-solid surfaces, the ones that are compressed with something in the middle and all that kind of stuff, uh, you can tell a huge difference from the feel. But it is beautiful. It's not a huge kitchen. It does exactly what you need it to do though. Coming into your bathroom. So this is your half bath. And again, it gets you a door straight outside. So if the kids need to use the restroom, you can keep this door on the inside closed and the, the you know minimum air will be will escape, which is nice. All the toilets are going to be porcelain. And then again, like I said, you get the matte black faucet with the stainless steel sink. You have me in the mirror, the man in the mirror. And then, of course, you have a place to put medicine and toothbrush, toothpaste, all that good stuff plug right there motion detection light and then you have your fan as well as I think that was too fast I don't know if you saw it and then as well as uh, your light switch so you have a little bit of shallow storage right here good place to put food groceries, all that good stuff. And then coming inside your bunk room, you have storage behind the door. So we'll close the door. It's a little bit deeper. More inclined to hang clothes. You have a hanger right here. And then you got a little bit of storage above. Coming to this side, you have the awesome frame that you can put a family picture right here. And then of course you have the bunks. So the bunks in here, 
is you have 250 pounds. You can sleep two people easy right here. You're also plug in ready and lit up. And same for down here, another 250 pounds plug and lit up and all that good stuff. And they do have control of the main lights from the bottom. So hopefully they're not too much of a brat whoever's sleeping right here. You have a couch that folds out into a bed. Now it does have the table that does set right here. So you do have a place for a table in here. And of course, another 250 pound sleeping uh, bunk right here. You have a little bit of storage right there. And then two drawers right there. All right. Leaving this area. Going into the main bathroom, you have a corner shower with the cool doors that I like a lot. Very strong magnets, matte black faucet, lots of space actually, and this closes off so you're not going to get any leaking water or anything like that. Again, same sink, storage underneath. And then the same medicine cabinet in here as well. Plug, and then you have your Level Mate Pro, which would hook up to your phone. And then you adjust your RV accordingly, and you can see it all on your phone. Again, a porcelain toilet. You have your vent fan and your light switch and another motion sensor light. Now you can pass through the bedroom on both sides. Obviously, you have an entrance here or you could pass through the bathroom. You have dual Coleman mock air conditioning before I go too far. And it is vented only all the way through the RV, but you do have dual AC. So you have another Coleman mock in the bedroom as well. Oh my gosh, it is boiling in here. Okay. So you see the beautiful purple with the blue light. We're turning that off because it is on fire in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, 82 degrees in here is way too much for this little space. So a lot of these uh, touring edition sport treks, they usually have a, like a little bed or a place to read or a nook, whatever you want to call it. This one, however, does not. You have a place that you can put things here. You also have a spot up here that place that has plugs on both sides. Now I instantly think Christmas because I'm a Christmas person. So I think of like, you know, those uh, uh, scenes of like towns and stuff that can be all lit up. That's what I would put right here and up there as well. I think that would be really cool during the, the Christmas season. You have your hangers right here, as well as a little bit of storage right here. And same for on the other side. You do have a window covering right here. It is one of those black ones. I wish they would go away from this style. I think that they need to co come out with something a little bit more sturdy over the long haul. You have a queen bed, of course. And then above that, you do have storage on each side with a tinted glass. And then you have a place to plug in and store things right in the center. Underneath your bed, you have a decent amount of storage. It's also assisted by these uh, shocks. It's a harder to close it than it is to open it. All right, back to the fireplace space. Now above that, you do have a place to hook up your TV and everything, and it is pre-wired for Wi-Fi. Um, you do have storage up here as well, along with storage on both sides of the fireplace. And then you have three drawers to store more clothes. So yeah, now the only thing that I can critique right now off the top of my head is I wish this slide was on this side so that whenever you're leaving, you're kind of going around, you're getting all this space by the door as opposed to the bathroom. So, I mean, if you're more of a bathroom person, you know, worried about it in the morning, it'll be a lot easier for you to just kind of run in here, use the restroom and then come back in. So to each his own.
All right, guys, I'm going to go over the specs right now. All right, let's go over the dimensions. So the length of this RV is 37.67 feet. The width is 8 feet. The height is 11.5 feet. The interior height is 6.83 feet. The weight, dry, is 9,040 pounds. Payload capacity is 1,755 pounds. And the GVWR is 10,795 pounds. The hitch weight is 1,210 pounds. And you have, okay, so this explains a lot of things, why you have two flushes. You have one freshwater tank, which is 45 gallons. You have two gray water tanks combined for 64 gallons. And you have two black water tanks combined for 64 gallons. You have two propane tanks, which are 30 pounds apiece, giving you a combined amount of 60 pounds. Your awning is 20 foot long. This RV can sleep up to 11 people. Your air conditionings are 15,000 BTUs. The heater is 30,000 BTUs. And of course, that hot water heater is six gallons. And that pretty much covers everything. Back to me. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and bell notification. Uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye.